Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about introduction to SAP. SAP stands for Systems, Applications, and Products in Data Processing. SAP should be pronounced as SAP, not SAP. SAP company, or known as SAP AG, was founded in 1972 by five German engineers. So it's a German company. Now, SAP is an ERP software. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. So ERP software is an end-to-end -end solution for an enterprise. A company or an enterprise consists of multiple departments. For example, finance, sales, human resources, manufacturing, etc. Now each of these departments requires a software to manage its information. So one solution is that this company can have a unique software developed from scratch for each of these department or this company can go for an ERP solution. If this company goes for an ERP solution then these departments would be using one or more modules of the same ERP software. Okay, So ERP, soft, ERP is a modular and integrated product. So ERP software has multiple modules uh, designed for different departments and these d modules are integrated in terms of data sharing. They share the data, so they share the same backend data source, the database. Transactions are automatically created uh, in this module based on an activity going on in, in one module. The second module can automatically capture that and create transactions. Now, the SAP market uh, looks like this. Uh, sorry, the ERP market looks like this. SAP is the number one leader with 35% share with its product called MySAP. Oracle is has 28% market share with three of its products. It has more products, three of the main products. Oracle eBusiness Suite, its flagship uh, ERP software. Then it has uh, PeopleSoft and JD Edward as well. Now we have a tier two uh, ERP applications uh, taking third position with 23% uh, market share. Uh, this category includes ERP software like BAN, Epicor, Infor, and SysPro. Microsoft has 14% market share with its product called Great Plains. So these are 20, uh, 2009 numbers. Now this is the evolution for SAP. SAP started with SAP R2 which uh, became SAP R3 which eventually changed to my SAP ECC. Now SAP R2 was mainly designed for mainframe computers, large huge computers. And then it changed to SAP R3 which were catering to client server environments where machines uh, went from large size to smaller ones but multiple machines were being used together. Uh, now the latest offering is my SAP ECC. ECC stands for ERP Central Component. Okay, now. Uh, my SAP ECC has multiple modules. For example, FI and CO are modules within my SAP. Okay, so financials and controlling modules are part of uh, my SAP ECC suite. Now, my SAP has multiple suites. Each suite is a group of modules. So you can say th these are family of modules, and together all these families are called my SAP. So my SAP includes ERP central component, ECC, supplier relationship management, strategic enterprise management, catalog content management, we have compliance management for SOA, we have supply chain management, product life cycle management, customer relationship management, and business intelligence. So all these uh, families are part of my SAP. So as I said, this suite or family has multiple modules within it. So FICO are part of uh, ERP central component suite. Okay, so financials and controlling are part of ERP uh, central component. Now SAP R2 changed to SAP R3 and SAP R3 changed to ERP uh, ECC. Okay, so in my SAP uh, the company added other families as well. So initial offerings did not include all these families. Okay, so they become part of this one big giant uh, product called my SAP. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed uh, the introduction to SAP and coming tutorials. I'll talk more about SAP and take you through the whole complete implementation. 
So uh, I hope uh, you're going to be taking more tutorials at handsonsap.com.